Hello everyone. Welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. A squared is equal to b plus 111 and b squared is equal to a plus 111. We need to find all possible values of a and b. So, let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. And we subtract uh, equation 2 from equation 1. So, left hand side of equation 1 is uh, a squared minus uh, left hand side of equation 2 is b squared is equal to right hand side of equation 1 is uh, b plus uh, 111 minus uh, right hand side of equation 2 is uh, a plus uh, 111. Next, a squared minus uh, b squared is equal to, we remove uh, brackets, b plus uh, 111 minus a minus 111. So, this uh, negative 111 will be cancelled out with this positive 111 and uh, this equation will become a squared minus uh, b squared is equal to b minus a. Now, we move this uh, negative a and this b to the left hand side. Then, a squared minus uh, b squared, this negative a will become plus a, this uh, plus b will become negative b is equal to 0. Now, this uh, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. And from these two terms, uh, we can factor out plus 1. Plus uh, 1 as common factor and in bracket left uh, a minus b is equal to 0. Now, this expression a minus b, this expression a minus b is a common factor. So, we factor out this uh, a minus b and uh, in bracket left, uh, bracket left this uh, a plus b plus 1, in bracket left uh, a plus b plus uh, 1 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression a minus b is equal to 0 or this expression a plus uh, b plus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation, we make this b the subject, then b will be equal to a. And from this equation, we make b the subject, then b will be equal to, this plus 1 will become negative 1 and this plus a will become negative a. Now, we recall equation 1. Equation 1 is a squared is equal to b plus 111. Equation 1 is a squared is equal to b plus 111. We write equation 1 here also for solving this. a squared is equal to b plus 111. First, uh, in this equation, we replace this b with this a. Then, uh, this equation will become a squared is equal to a plus uh, 111. Now, we move this a at this plus uh, 111 to the left hand side. Then, a squared minus a minus 111 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable. So, we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, a is equal to negative negative 1 plus or minus square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 111 divided by 2 times 1. Next, a is equal to 1 plus minus square root of this uh, negative 1 squared is 1. 
negative 4 times 1 times negative 111 will become plus 444 divided by 2 times 1 2 next a is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of this 1 plus 444 will become 445 divided by 2. Now, to find the value of B, recall that B is equal to A. Since B is equal to A, so from here we get same value of B is equal to 1 plus minus square root of 445 divided by 2. Now, in this equation we replace this B with this negative 1 minus A. Then this equation will become A squared is equal to negative 1 minus A plus 111. Next, A squared is equal to this negative 1 plus 111 will become 110 minus this A. Now, we move these two terms to the left hand side, then A squared plus A minus 110 is equal to 0. Now, this quadratic equation is factorable. So, we solve it by factorization. We write this A squared, A squared and we split this plus A as, we split this plus A as plus 11 times A minus 10 times A minus this 110 is equal to 0. Now, from these two terms, uh, we can factor out A. In, the in bracket left, uh, A plus 11. And from these two terms, uh, we can factor out negative 10. In, in bracket left, uh, A plus 11 is equal to 0. Now, this expression A plus 11, this expression A plus 11 is a common factor. So, we factor out this uh, A plus 11. And in bracket left, in bracket left, this A is negative 10. In bracket left, A minus 10 is equal to 0. Now, from here, either this expression A plus 11 is equal to 0 or this expression A minus 10 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of A is equal to negative 11. And from this equation, we get the value of A is equal to 10. Now, to find the values of B, we recall that, we recall that B is equal to negative 1 minus A. We recall that B is equal to negative 1 minus A. We write this equation here, B is equal to negative 1 minus a. So, when A is equal to negative 11, then B will be equal to negative 1 minus negative 11. And B will be equal to negative 1 plus 11 and from here B will be equal to 10. Now, when A is equal to 10, then B will be equal to negative 1 minus 10 and B will be equal to negative 11. So, when A is equal to negative 11, then B will be equal to 10 and when A will be equal to 10, then B will be equal to negative 11. And from here, A will be equal to 1 plus minus square root of 445 over 2 and same value of B is 1 plus minus square root of 445 over 2. So, the final set of solutions of A comma B is equal to 
value of a is 1 plus minus square root of 445 over 2 comma same value of b 1 plus minus square root of 445 over 2 in the second pair is negative 11 comma 10 and the third pair is 10 comma negative 11. This is the final answer of this equation.